Hey everyone, my name is Talon and thanks for joining me for another video. Today I want to talk about some elevated offers that's going to be ending soon with the American Express Delta cards. So if you look at American Express's Delta cards, you'll see that all of them pretty much have a limited time offers just across the board and they're going to be ending pretty soon on November 10th. So if you want any of these cards, take advantage of them now. I don't see these Delta cards getting limited time offers very often and they're pretty, for the most part, a lot of them are pretty good. So let's just start at the high end. If you look at the Delta Sky Miles Reserve card, this is their highest end card uh, with an annual fee of $550. You'll be earning 80,000 bonus miles and 20,000 MQMs uh, when you spend $5,000 on your first three months. So the 80,000 bonus miles, that's pretty solid. Uh, it's not as good as some of the other cards as you'll see, but you'll, you will be receiving 20,000 MQM. So if you're chasing miles for Delta, if you're trying to get any of their statuses, this will help you out quite a bit. Looking at the next one, you'll see that the Delta Sky Miles Gold card, uh, which normally has a $99 annual fee, but for the first year, it will be $0. But if you spend $2,000 in your first three months, you will receive 70,000 bonus miles. And it's getting pretty close to what you just saw on the reserve card, um, 70,000 versus 80,000 on the reserve. So it's getting pretty close and that's pretty great for a, a much lower annual fee card. And if you do look at Delta's no annual fee card, uh, it's pretty low. They don't actually have any limited time offer on it right now, but it is very low. So I highly recommend going for at least the gold card that first year it is a $0 annual fee. So if you don't want to pay an annual fee, take advantage of that bonus. And if you really need to, you can always downgrade to the no annual fee card right here, which is 10,000 bonus miles normally, which isn't that good. So that's why I recommend going with one of the other cards for the first year, at least just take advantage of that once in a lifetime bonus and get as much out of these cards as you can. And the Delta Sky Miles Platinum card also has an elevated offer. This is probably one of the most, uh, most advantageous for most people out there. Uh, normally the card has a $250 annual fee and you will be receiving 90,000 bonus miles along with 10,000 MQMs on your first $3,000 on purchases. The Delta Platinum card's pretty impressive to me because you're getting 10,000 miles more than you will the higher annual fee reserve card. You are getting 10,000 MQMs less but it all depends. Do you want additional miles to redeem for reward flights or do you want additional MQMs to get a higher status with Delta? It all depends on what your strategy is going forward. I know that if I was going for one of these cards, I'd probably go for the Platinum just because I'm not really too into the whole Delta ecosystem and I'd probably just appreciate the extra 10,000 miles that I can use for additional flights. I don't really need to chase uh, the whole Delta status at the moment. So that's what I would personally do, but it, it all depends on your own personal situation, what you value the most. And again, the limited time offers for these Delta cards are going to be expiring in just a couple of weeks. So if you're interested in them, take advantage of them now. Uh, you don't, you, we never know when the next limited time offer is going to be. So if you want any of these cards, take the best offer that you can get at the moment. You can never predict the future. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I hope you can see you guys on the next one. So see ya.